May 11th didn't just bring a 4v4 S&D $1,000 tournament. Well, yes, it did. It was the biggest news of the day. But more importantly here for CMG, we also launched our first ever broadcast on Twitch at CMG underscore esports. And a lot of you came out to join us for the coverage of that 4v4 SND tournament. Now, it was a one and done, so there were no double eliminations, but the Elite Style Tournament brought a lot of teams forward, 62 including a handful of players that I'm sure most of you are very familiar with if you pay attention to any kind of these outlying tournaments. Starting things off, though, as we jump forward to the semifinals, Ilian Company, including his team of Mutex, Mohawk, and Prolute, found themselves up against a squad called Fat Camp, which consisted of Fatty, the namesake of the team, Parza, God It's Easy, and Creep. Now, again, this is a best-of-three setup, and it looked to be a very interesting start to the set as... Well, Ilian Company started to go down a little bit early before they would start to pick up steam and what you would anticipate, Ilian Company would find themselves two relatively easy wins as the set progressed. A 6-3 on the gridlock and a 6-1 on the Hacienda. That would put them as the first team to our grand finals. Now to meet them, it would be coming down to the winner of Zaptius's crew, which consisted of him, Andrew Onyx, Glow Frosty, and Rambi. Very notable team of semi-pros and amateurs alike that have been setting themselves up for a lot of success with this title. They'd be going up against the squad that consisted of Dylan, AB Careful, Killer K, and Johnny. Now, AB Careful had been absolutely nutty with the Paladin throughout a lot of the maps that we'd seen him play in the earlier's, but it wouldn't start off so great for him here as Zap and the gang would start off with a 6-4 win on Gridlock until we would go to Hacienda. And that Paladin started to make a lot of noise, as it was able to help AB Careful and the rest of the crew find themselves a 6-3 win. So we would go all the way to map number 3. That would go down to frequency. And while Zaptius and the squad was undoubtedly the better team here, as they found themselves a 6-2 win. We would go into the grand finals then. This would change to a best of 5. And again, $800 for the winner, $200 for the team that finished up in 2nd place. And it would start off with a very interesting matchup on firing range where Zaptius and the squad would just come out absolutely firing. A 6-3 win after they were up 5-0 at one point in time. Ilian crew started to fight on back, but they weren't quite able to get things done. So we would go to Arsenal. Well, this is where Ilya would start to show up. A lot of insane moments here in Arsenal with the sniper rifle, the SMG, the Maddox, whatever Ilya decided he wanted to pick up. He kept his team in it throughout. It would go 5-5, five to five, though, to round 11, where Ilya would make this incredible play. Now he just plays for the information, make it to the flank, comes through, and I think he's got information that both players are here. You can see how the focus fire has changed for Blue. Prolet finds the first, though. Zap able to respond. Two on one, Ilya. Do you have what it takes to get this clutch round and send this to a 1-1 one, one map drop? Oh, he finds he himself dies. one, looking for the second. He needs to find it quickly. 22 seconds left to play as Frosty's trying to play his life on close and personal. Illy's able to take it, and the round 11 clinch will go to Illy, and they will find the map because of it. We'll be going to map three tied up one apiece. So with that aside, we would switch to map three. Gridlock would be the next one up, and if you happen to miss this set, Make sure you check out our other videos because it will be up on our YouTube. It was an absolutely insane final matchup. It would go gridlock 6-3 for Illy. It was a tight matchup throughout, and even though it was 6-3, the damage numbers, the score numbers, the KDs were all relatively even. It came down to a number of 1v1s or 1v2s, but it would be Illy's team at the end of the day putting themselves up two maps to one. So to the fourth map we would go. Hacienda. Zaptius needing to find some kind of movement to get his team back into the running, but also into that map five if they want to keep fighting for the prize pool. They would get it done here on Hacienda 6-3, and we would finalize things on map number five on frequency. And well, even though Illy had a couple of insane moments, including this double snipe here, he wasn't quite able to do enough as Onyx in a number of great moments was able to find a lot of great flanks on frequency. And they found a 6-2 win. So Zaptius, Onyx, Glow Frosty, and Rambi would complete the five-game set, winning two maps in a row and coming away with the $800 total prize pool. An incredible match. Again, if you missed it, we're sorry to have missed you. But make sure you keep in touch as we will be doing more things over on our Twitch channel throughout the upcoming weeks. And of course, if you want to participate in upcoming elites, make sure you check out our website at checkmategaming.com slash elite.